been from some stop, old. Stop, 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 stop. What did you see? <laughs> hey, hey. Hush. all spotted. <laughs> I love that when they hold on and they roll along with it. I don't know what exact dung beetle this is. You get a lot of different dung beetles, about 55,000 species of dung beetles. Or scarab beetles. <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, this one knows where he wants to go. He wants to get off the road. It's good weather this for dung beetles. That means they can bury those balls quite easily. Uh, quite often we see dung beetles. Hey. <laughs> everything's moving this morning. Yes, everything. Just getting his bearings again. You see how he climbed up and he looked around again. You see how he's going back the same direction again. Sometimes if they roll for a distance, they do that. They climb on top of the ball and they just get their sort of direction again. It's going to roll downhill again just now. Or maybe not. No, no. Also notice how the dung beetle is pushing using the front legs. Hey, there it goes. Oh, nice long one, nice long one. In this case, he kept his bearings. See how he's using the front two legs to push? And then the back legs to, to control the, the ball. So, four legs to sort of give the ball direction and stability and two legs to push. Just out of interest, I know some of you, many of you, I think, are into reading and enjoy reading um, and uh, so I was just thinking of uh, uh, some of you even own bookshops but um, if you're into collecting books one of the classic books and one of the classic stories that came out of Africa and, and came out of this area is Jocko the Bushveld. It was a fascinating story um, about a, a man and a dog like some of them tend to be and it's a true story as well and a lot of it uh, was set here in the Kruger area